Hello and welcome to me, Dazblay, and my adventures in Minecraft. Okay, things are a bit different. Um, power cut, data loss, data corruption. Um, tried my best to restore my files, just wouldn't have it, so I lost the original world. Managed to save a bit of inventory, but yeah, that's about all, all I did. Um, so what I've been doing is I've been building this world up to a similar level to what it was previously and now I'm ready to start making um, videos again so um, yeah okay let's get going we're going to take a little tour now so starting at the far end if you look behind me over there there's loads and loads of sand and basically I've been using that to um, gather resources and harvest as much as possible. Yes, and there's also a little um, outpost over there. Um, not been yet, but there's plenty of time. Plenty of time. So, this is starting at the far end. Okay. So, it will come over here. Uh, build a, a little basic sort of like harbour sort of type thing um, I had to carve through here do some terraforming to make this little river so that I can easily go over there with a chest boat um, harvest as much sand as possible and come back and bring it over here oh god looks like the endermen have been around have I got any dirt yes I have let's just uh, fill these holes in because you just don't want to see that, do you? I don't like it. <laughs> it annoys me. Why do Endermen have to bloody grab things all the time? But when I say things, I mean dirt. Okay, so moving over towards the base now. What we got over here? Apart from uh, the trader. Oi, trader. Bugger off. No, I'm not talking to you. I'm talking at you. Go. Thank you. Anyway. Um, so I've set up these little onion nests here. What I tried to do is I tried to spawn them all naturally um, by planting trees. I managed to get three, but I spent ages trying to get this fourth one. Couldn't get it, so I just made a bee's nest. And I bred some bees and Bob's your uncle got all the, um, the three hives and the nest all populated. Um, over here we've got a little wheat farm um oi trader go away how many more times do i have to tell you and you can see i started preparing these bits here because what i was going to do is kind of semi-automate it by putting some um dispensers up here with water buckets in have a little water stream here um a button and some redstone press the button water comes out and does the business so it flows into the chest automatically um now you may be wondering or you may not be wondering why well, i've got these flowers here because from the bees well apparently when bees fly over um things that are growing you know whether it's wheat flowers or treat or or, or whatever it is they drop um particles after they've done the business with the flowers and collected all the pollen as they're flying back to their nest they're dropping particles over the wheat and it and it just makes it grow that bit faster allegedly <laughs> i think it does actually it does work um eventually i'm going to get all this covered off um, and what else we got okay i've got a couple of horses a couple of donkeys a couple of llamas. I think they might have been trading llamas. Or I can't remember that. And these skelly horses. It was amazing. I, I, I don't know what the specific circumstances have to be for um, skelly horses to spawn. But I do remember it was raining. And it was thundering and lightning as well. And all of a sudden, four skelly horses with four skeletons riding them just suddenly spawned or appeared 
So I took care of them and managed to capture and salvage at least two of them. Um, here's the rest of the arbor that I was telling you about. As I say, it's only a basic arbor. Oh, look at that little chicken. What are you doing in there, chicken? What? Talk to me like that. Love none of that. Back all. So, yeah, we've got a little arbor there. And, right, okay. My little starter base is, uh, yeah, it's very, very unfinished at the moment. Very incomplete. Oh, actually, before I go in there, I need to show you. Uh, so, we did this. Um, it's a cow farm and that allows me to get the leather and then we'll look at the and I'll be oh that's so noisy, let's get away. Get away from there. So yeah I'm using beef as my main food source because it apparently provides the most saturation out of all the other basic foods. Eventually I'll probably move on to something like golden carrots or you know something like that. But yeah, getting back to the uh, building, let's just have a go in here. Let's just go upstairs first, because this is where it's all finished. So this is the top of the uh, stable. There, I've got my two horses in there. Um, come down here, I'll come up this way. Uh, damn, I don't know what I'm doing with this, to be honest. Um, we'll see, we'll see what happens. Um, but yeah, um, the reason why I needed to harvest lots of sand is because I need lots and lots of glass. And all this is going to be all glass. I don't know how I'm going to do this roof yet. Yeah, I've got a couple of ideas, but I'm not, um, not fully sure yet. Um, over here, we've got um, a little, little lava farm. We only need five cauldrons. That's su sufficient for our needs. Um, now apparently, I find, found and learned this the hard way, is when you have wood here, 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 <laughs> the lava just burns it and it catches fire. And it's got a length of sort of like two blocks, so up to two blocks from the lava, to there, from there, from there, to there, it will still catch fire. So yeah, learned that the hard way. So surrounded it in stone now, so none of that happens. Funnily enough, it doesn't melt the glass. Hmm, wonder why that is. No. Hello, putty cat. Now, here, this is above an AFK fish farm where I've been doing lots of grinding here, spending uh, loads of time get, trying to get enchanting books until um, we'll get a trading all going, which I'll should talk about in a moment. But let's just show you this um, AFK fish farm. Here's the lava lot. Uh, I always like to leave one filled up because you can use it as a dustbin just to get rid of unnecessary products or items I don't need anymore. Uh, put these in here. And at the moment, yeah, that's. Oh, looks like it might be done. Plenty of glass in there. Okay, we can get that out later. Um, okay, now. They have done this because if you have like a normal wooden door, you know, zombies can um, break it down. Sometimes, you know, as a creeper can sneak in, which it actually did to me once. Destroyed my AFK fishing um, farm and destroyed me. So, what I do now is have an iron door here to be completely protected. The only way you can open it, but I only need one lever because you can open it from inside and outside by leaving that little gap there. Never more will I be disturbed by zombie creepers. And yes, this cat was in here as well, but the zombie creeper still came in, blew up all this, killed me, and yeah, not very fun. But what we've got in here? There's nothing in there. Nothing in there. What we've got in here. So we've got a few bits and bobs in there. Um, but, you know, you have to AFK for ages. It's, it's not like the ideal thing for, like, collecting um, enchanting books. And then it's not very often you get, like, a mending book. So we are going to need a trading order. Um, okay. 
Let's close that. Ooh, let's just go to sleep and get rid of the night time. So, back over here, when I started doing this, it's going to be like a glass uh, tunnel, and over here I've already started terraforming, still a lot more to do, but I've set out markers of where the building's going to be, so see there's one corner there, uh, I've got the middle bit there, another corner here, Little bit here, and we've got another corner bit over there. Oh, let's fill these holes in. Oh, I mean, Enderman. Why do they have to be so, you know, Enderman ish? <laughs> now, this is the center point. This is um, a seven by seven. This is going to be a huge tower that goes up there, which is going to be in the middle of this massive, well, I say massive, it's going to be big. It's going to be a big structure because it's going to go all the way up and then there's going to be a middle bit where you can see the tower and then it's going to have another bit which is going to be upside down, an upside down version of this bottom version. So it's going to be really big. I think it's probably going to be about 80, 100 blocks high. Uh, there's a, about 74 blocks high, I think it's going to be, actually, if I'm right. So each structure should be 37. I want a little gap in between. All right, so it might be 100 blocks. But, yeah. Um, obviously, um, this is not going to be made from cobblestone. I've just used cobblestone um, to, just to lay down the markers for it. Um, it's going to do something pretty nice here. Um, what I will do is probably do the first part of this tower before I actually start building um, the structure. Okay, that covers most things. Um, oh no, there's something that I, I need to show you where I do all my grinding and my mining, don't I? Well, some of it anyway. Um, let's go through here. And actually, when we go down there, that's was originally where I had the idea for doing this using this technique with the iron door. That's why I did the same thing on the AFK fish farm here. Just makes it more secure. Um, we've got a little clock there. Okay. Well, let's have a look. So down here. I wanna do some I wanna do something funky, you know, here. I wanna like decorate this so it's I don't know, just make it look nice might even make it a little psychedelic possibly um i've seen other videos where people have done stuff like that using frog lights or lights or just various um blocks just to give that sort of like weird um weird effect going down and what will come from this door we're going to have another glass structure like this glass structure there that's going to come across so then we'll always be protected when we want to come here so let's just have a look down here and have a look and see what we've got. Silly noises. I'd love to know what those noises are for. It sounds like a train, but I've never seen a train um, drive by yet. Well, it sounds like trains. So, so there's the door that I was on about. What we've got here? Uh, we've got something. <laughs> I, I, I think this is unfinished. But I'm going to go down anyway, just in case. Oh, yeah. Let me know it's unfinished, got slow. But yeah, I think this is going to be another sort of like mining mining area, isn't it? And if we go here, this is where I originally got the... And the reason why I did this again, as I kept saying, mobs kept, when it was just like a normal wooden door, mobs were either breaking it down or zombie creepers were coming through. And I didn't like it. I don't like it. It's not fun. So, do that. Let's see. Down here. Now, this is 
been my main mining resource for what's that block called? Deep slate. I love deep slate. Um, I'm gonna be doing a lot of building with deep slate, so I need need this area. So uh, I can't remember which. Oh, Danny. Yeah. Cobble deep slate. That's it. That's what we've got. That's that's what we come down here for. And I've got this way here, but then came into an open cave. I haven't fully explored this yet. I mean, I've lit it up a bit, but I think there's there's still loads to this. You know, you can get more stuff down down there. I've been that way. I don't think I've been that way, really. So these caves are just absolutely enormous, especially since the um, the update. Let's have a quick look. Skelly, let's have a bit of target practice. Oh man! Boom! Headshot. Get in there. <laughs> Stop messing about. Come on. Right. So we've got... Oh, no, see, I nearly missed it then. I've got to put some steps here as well. And I'll take, just take you to the other side just to uh, complete the tour. Oh, dear. I've made a bit of a mess of that there. And, uh, and I, don't, I don't tidy things up. I don't know why. It's all good. It's all good. So that was that way. So this way. Now what we got this one. Let's just. I don't think much is going on this side. Does it link back up with the way we've just been? I don't know. A rhetorical question. No need to answer. Uh, oh yeah. Okay. We've got stuff down here and I think it's just basically it, it, the reason why it all looks so messy is because you know it's a mining area isn't it that's what um that's what mining areas look like don't they messy don't they they do they do of course they do okay so that's um basically where I'm at with everything that's uh gives a uh, gives you an idea of what's been done so far let me just get back up here yeah this this will look awesome won't it with um decorate it properly and get it right this can look really cool so oh yeah just here this is where i've been gathering all my wood all i do is um and i'm only interested in oak to be honest not interested in the other woods um just six there every time they grow i usually chop them down um, so got quite a few resources so as you can see plenty of wood well the little bitch there but you know we don't talk about that Not very good. so yeah you can see uh, i like to put little items on item frames just to give an idea you know of, of what they are and if you think I've wasted enchanted books here I haven't really because they're cursed books so I just use the most rubbish and cursed enchanted book I could find just to use as an indicator to say that you know we're storing enchanted books in here and I think we're going to put enchanted books in there as well and yeah so there we are it end of tour hope you enjoyed that so what we're going to do now we're just going to finish off this uh terraforming behind me as you can see um not really that much to do to be honest um so it shouldn't only uh should only take a little moment um should be over in a flash okay let's go ahead and get this sorted out
And there we go. Bloody it wouldn't take long. <laughs> oh, silly chicken. Is that chicken there? Anyway, we've got the main bits all positioned out. So, I think, as I say, as a starting point, um, we'll, we'll start with this um, with this tower here first. Um, I think we'll just do the first uh, level of it, just to get an idea of what it looks like. Okay, so I'm not going to start on the tower now, so I just want to put some slabs down just to see what this looks like. This is just going to be the first bit. Okay, so slabs. Slabs? Did I say slabs? <laughs> slabs. temporary um, the temporary solution is just put some water in here so I'm going to build this tower all the way up and want an easy way of getting down and we can just jump to the water no problemo Darn it.
doing there. What we're going to do is we're going to have stairs that sparkle all the way around. So we can get easily get Hmm. A bit. Do this. I mean the next like, second is going to be some dark deep Slate and um, not said we have to use polished or normal yet, but we'll check, we'll check, we'll check and see. But I might change this round a bit as well, but we'll see how it goes. We need to get some water in there as well, obviously, for say safety reasons. I know I'm going to start building these stairs, but um, you know, better safe than sorry. I don't want to be like dying every time I'm. Every time I'm working on this um, this tower, so that's gonna um, that's gonna wrap it up for today. Quite a bit done. Got it prepared. Got the first load. Got the first. <laughs> I get the weird. We've got the first layer done. Uh, we've got it already uh, prepared now. I just need to have a quick think about what I'm gonna do. Um, Oh, I'm going to make this look a little bit better. Yeah. So, yeah, catch you next time. Bye.